Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to bringing the vision video. Today I'm bringing you guys this week's Vendor Reset. As always, if you guys are looking for anything specific, check out the description below. There's going to be timestamps over there. So finding things are going to be a lot easier. But anyways, if you guys enjoyed this video or find it helpful, don't forget to leave a like, subscribe for more videos, and let's get right into this reset. Uh, so starting off first, you guys want to check out the special blueprint vendor down in the terminal, and the only thing I would recommend checking out is this MP7 blueprint. Now yes, this SMG isn't really that good in this game anymore, but if you want to use something a little bit different, if you want to make a build uh, for PvP or PvP with something a bit different, this blueprint is really good to have on your character, and you really never know when you want to try out something different, so once again, pick this thing up if you don't have it already. Up next, you guys want to stop by the special equipment vendor still at the base operations, and the first thing you guys want to check out is this Liberator. Now what it comes with is 21% enemy armor damage, 263 gear score, and for the talents it has Vicious, Competent, and Capable. Now in my opinion, this isn't really the best pickup, but if you want to use a Liberator, if you're missing a good M4, this will do. Um, it already comes with Vicious and Competent, which are pretty good. Uh, for Competent, you do have to have a little bit more um, electronics, so if you are going to be using a kind of hybrid build, this weapon could be really good. Um, the only thing I would recommend doing is getting rid of Capable, go for something like Responsive or Unforgiving, and this will be a decent pickup. A few spots down, you want to check out this converted SMG9. Now I do understand, once again, no one really uses this, but if you want to use something a little bit different, if you want to experiment, whatever the case is, uh, this one is pretty good. So what it comes with is 19% critical hit chance, 277 gear score, and for the talents it has Ferocious, Unforgiving, and Deadly. This could be good for PvE, um, if you leave the talents how they are with Ferocious, and Unforgiving, and Deadly, but if you want to use this for PvP, I would recommend getting rid of Ferocious, go for Responsive, and this will be, once again, a decent pickup. Going all the way down, you want to check out this Prototype Stamina mod. What it comes with is 258 Stamina and 3% Skill Haste mod. Once again, if you want to make a uh, kind of hybrid build with a bit more stamina, um, and you also want to have some skill haste so you can get your, your heals or your pulls faster, this is a decent pickup. Of course, it's not maxed out, but if you're missing one, if you are in desperate needs, uh, this one will do. Last but not least, you want to check out this magazine. What it comes with is 120% magazine size, 2.50% critical hit chance, and 4.60% rate of fire. In my opinion, this is an awesome pickup. Um, if you need a good magazine for PvP with critical hit chance and rate of fire, this one is a must pickup. Um, although it's not maxed out, it's missing some critical hit chance and rate of fire, and also 1% um, on magazine size. But once again, if you are in need of this, if you are desperate, definitely pick this thing up. Next up, you guys want to visit the Autumn's Hope safe house, and what he's actually selling is a really nice prototype firearms mod. This one comes with 264 firearms and 3,000. 100 health. Um, in my mind, this is an awesome pickup if you're making a Nomad build, if you're making a Striker for PvE, anything like that, this is an awesome mod. So once again, it is located at the Autumn's Hope safe house. The Special Blueprints Venger at Kim Clinton is next on my list, and the first thing you guys want to check out is this Extended Magazine Blueprint. If you guys don't want to buy the magazine I showed you guys before, you can also buy this blueprint and craft yourself a God Roll 1 with Critical Hit Damage, Critical Hit Chance, Magazine Size, um, or if you want critical hit chance and rate of fire, critical hit damage and rate of fire, whatever the case is, this blueprint is a must buy, and if you don't have this, 100% buy it. And the final thing I would recommend buying is this performance gear mod blueprint. If you guys are making different builds, if you are uh, one of those players that likes to experiment with different builds, instead of going out and farming for different um, mods, like turret damage mods, ally heal mods, uh, first aid self heal mods, anything like that, you could just have the blueprints on your character and craft them, um, and just not really go out and farm for many, many hours. Uh, so once again, this is located at the Special Blueprint Avenger at Camp Clinton. The Kerman Station is next on my list, and this guy's actually selling a really nice Navy MP5N. It comes with 21% critical hit chance, 272 gear score, and for the talents it has Meticulous, Unforgiving, and Responsive. Honestly, this one is pretty good if you don't have the house, if you don't have any other good submachine gun, I would recommend buying this 100%. The only thing you really have to do is get rid of Meticulous, go for something like Deadly or Vicious if you want more critical hit chance, and this will be an awesome pickup. If you're looking for a decent headshot suppressor, you want to check out the Meat Locker Safe House. He's actually selling one, it comes with 18.50% headshot damage, 4.50% optimum range, and 2.50% critical hit chance. Now although it is missing the critical hit damage, it's not that big of a deal. Uh, normally, when you're going to be using suppressors or 
uh, scopes with headshot damage, you're mostly going to focus on headshots. So the critical hit damage that it's missing, like 4%, it's not really that big of a deal. Uh, so once again, if you are in need of this for your MDR, your sniper rifles, or even your lightweight and fours, it is located at the meat locker safe house. The final open world adventure you guys want to check out is the firewall, and what he's actually selling is a 195 stamina and 3% damage leads mod. If you're making a PvE build, like a damage slash DPS PvE build, these mods are really really good, um, and once again they come with stamina, so you will be a little bit tanky, um, but you're also going to get a lot of damage from the damage elites on these mods. Getting straight into the DZ, the first person you guys want to talk to is the East 61st Street Checkpoint. What he's actually selling is a magazine. Now if you guys don't want to buy the blueprints, if you just want to buy a magazine with your uh, DZ credits, whatever the case is, pick this thing up. It comes with 117% magazine size, 4% critical hit damage, and 2.50% critical hit chance. Um, if you're making a PvP build, if you're making a PvE build, and you like using critical hit damage and critical hit chance on your magazine, this magazine is for you. A few spots down, you want to stop by the East 46 Street Checkpoints. Uh, the first thing you guys want to check out is this Vigorous Chest Piece. It comes with 1254 stamina, 15,800 health, and 7% skill haste. Um, honestly, this is pretty good. The only thing you really have to do is get rid of the skill haste. Go for EDR, or you can use skill haste if you are making uh, that type of build. The only thing you really have to do is optimize this chest piece, and besides that, it is pretty good. The final thing is this 6% first aid ally heal. Um, if you're making a reclaimer healer build, if you're making a tactician healer build, this mod is a must, so you can, uh, you know, you can heal your teammates way, way better um, if you have these equipped on your build. So once again, purchase them if you are missing it. If you're interested in a 2% pulse critical hit chance mod, you want to stop by the East 34th Street checkpoint. He's actually selling one. Um, if you're making a damage slash DPS build for both PvP or PvE, these mods, these performance mods are really good to use. Um, once again, you will have to use a pulse with this, but if you do, your critical hit chance will be so much higher. So if you're making a AR build, this is a smart option to use. Up next, you guys want to stop by the 5th Avenue checkpoint, and what he's actually selling is a pretty nice Super 90. Uh, this one comes with 290.50% stagger, 270 gear score, and for the talents, it has unforgiving, vicious, and competent. Honestly, this one is pretty good how it is. Um, you can reroll vicious for responsive if you want, but that's really up to you. It just really depends what build you're making. If you want to use competent and vicious with unforgiving, then this shotgun is for you. Heading over to the west side, we stop by the west 34 street checkpoints, and this guy's actually selling a 6% first aid self heal. Uh, honestly, these mods are something I always recommend using, even if you don't have a lot of uh, skill power or electronics on your build, but you want to use a booster shot for the extra damage, damage resilience. These mods are a must, so if you are in need of them, if you're missing them, check this vendor out. One spot up, you want to check out the West 39 Street Checkpoint, and what he's actually selling is a prototype firearms mod that comes with 259 firearms and 2.50% exotic damage resilience. Um, if you're making a Dark Zone build and you are tired of getting um, destroyed by the Pred, uh, the Bleed, and stuff like that, or if you're just getting annoyed with like the, the shock, the burn, whatever the case is, these mods are awesome to have. Although the firearms are not maxed out, they're 8 points away from being maxed out, it's still a decent pickup if you don't have this. So once again, visit the West 39th Street Checkpoint in the DZ. Last but not least, you want to stop by the West 46th Street Checkpoint in the Dark Zone. Uh, the first thing I would recommend checking out is this mod. This is actually a 267 firearms and 3% signature ability resource gain mod. Now I don't normally show these mods, but this one is a god roll, this one is absolutely maxed out, so if you are uh, making a build um, and you are in need of these mods for some reason, 100% pick this thing up. And also, this loud event break is pretty good, it comes with 18% critical hit damage, 2.50% stability, and 2.50% critical hit chance. Uh, once again, it is missing the headshot damage, but it's not that big of a deal, honestly, if you're going for body shots, the only thing you really want is critical hit damage on this. Uh, so yeah, that is it for the video. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you have any questions, let me know in the comment section below. I respond to my comments, but once again, thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you guys in the next one.